Ross Chastain has had a whirlwind year. After a top-tier Xfinity Series ride fell through, he began 2019 hoping to make the Xfinity playoffs. That was until June, when Chastain, who started every Truck Series race as well, decided to chase a truck title instead. It's kind of been business as usual for the last 12 months of my life of ups and downs, kind of the highest of highs and then the lowest of lows. It's, it's just really weird that it's in the public. Like a, a lot of people, and myself included, have went through stuff in our lives. You know, you're excited about stuff, then stuff gets taken away, you don't know why. Um, but I believe that there's a bigger plan for me, and whatever that plan is, I'm, I'm good with. Well, it's great to see, first of all, how resilient one driver can be. Because we see it. I mean, every driver has a dream to keep climbing the ladder, and the opportunities don't always come. For Ross, they, they have come in his career, and he's taken full advantage of them. We saw him do that last year in the Xfinity Series. Then all of a sudden, that advantage is taken away again. What does he do? He gets in a truck that maybe wasn't supposed to win races, and he does what he has to do. He climbs the ladder again and wins races. And just seeing that resiliency, that Cinderella story, it's awesome. Chastain took the checkered flag first at Iowa Speedway on June 16th, but was disqualified due to a rules violation. The next week out at Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway, Chastain found himself back in victory lane. Well, that was a lot of our first time ever being thrown out um, of any, any race ever. So that was hard to swallow, and we were really, really mad. I mean, that, we just didn't feel like the punishment fit the crime. Um, but it was what it was, and by, by Wednesday we, had, we were good with it. We were really, really mad, and we went to Gateway. and. I look back and, and think about what we were saying to each other, and what, we, what I was saying publicly, and what we all were saying publicly, and we were all really mad, and I said, you know, we were just going to go win again, and I was so fired up. And the fact that we did was incredible. I mean, I know how hard it is to win these things, and, and the way we did it was incredible. We, we executed, we believed in each other, and yeah, it, it worked out. Um, but I look back, and I'm like, man, I said a lot of bold things that week leading up to Gateway, and, and it all worked out. Eight drivers will make the Truck Series playoffs. Five have won, but with three races left in the regular season, the standings could still drastically change before then. You have to win to make the playoffs. I mean, right now you don't have to in the Truck Series, but if you want to jump into it right now, that's the only way, that's the only hope of actually getting in there. I mean, drivers that are having really good seasons without a win, they're going to be shut out of a championship run. Chastain is confident in his abilities, and he knows exactly what he expects out of himself and his team in Saturday's Gander RV 150 at Pocono Raceway. Yeah, go win. No way around it. Just go execute. Um, put herself in a position to win with, you know, 10 to go. Um, and either go pass them or hold them off or execute on a final restart, whatever the case may be. It's a short race. So I say 10 laps, that's a really long time. Um, it's only a 60 lap race. So, um, you know, just put ourselves in position and execute, that's all right.